Hello and hi everyone, welcome to a brand new series where I fix ugly villagers. Basically what I do is I take those ugly villagers and I put them into my drawing program. I either add stuff or I remove stuff, change their design to make them more physically appealing. Now of course this is all subjective because all of the villagers are the way they are for a reason and they wouldn't be them without their design. But you know what, this is all just for fun, no hard feelings. So without further ado, let's fix our victim. Here is my drawing program. So starting off with this series, today we are redrawing Miss Tab. Tabby, I would say, is quite the interesting character to look at. Let's zoom in on her. What I first noticed about Tabby is obviously her makeup, but what I didn't notice about her makeup was that it was actually asymmetrical. So if you look at her little cheekies, you can tell that this little blushy is smaller than this one over here. And then actually her eyes too are, this one's larger than that one. So it's like a nice composition between the two of them. I think the biggest problem people have with her personally is probably her nose. I think it's a little bit chunky. It's like someone's pushing up against it. And then her lovely little little chompers. Girl, we're gonna size you up a little bit, okay? There we go. Now, personally, what I don't like about her is what she's wearing. I don't think this suits her very much. She's giving off very preteen vibes where she's like testing out makeup. Maybe she likes grunge music or something. Let me just whip out my good old red here to outline what I'm gonna change. I also want to change the color of her little stripes. I think that the light brown doesn't mesh well with the orange. I think that her colors are too clashy. Her nose needs to go. Let me just redo this there. Her nose needs to go. We'll keep the teeth. I have an idea with her teeth. We'll fix her makeup just a little bit. Her eyes are a little buggy wuggy. And I think for sure, for sure, we're going to change out her shirt to kind of make her pop. This... This, this is drowning, drowning her out. out. We don't, don't like, like that. that. Okay, we're gonna shrink you down again. You can go right there. Okay, Miss Girl, let's duplicate you. Push you aside for a little bit of comparison here. We will hide her in a sec just to like give her the full reveal. But for now, I'm just going to physically show you guys what I have in mind. So I don't think I'll be redrawing everything. I think I'm going to do this. Cursed, I know, I'm sorry. I'll fix it, don't worry. All right, there we go. Very cursed, I love it, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my tablet and we'll get started. Where is my pen? I lost my pen, I don't. Oh, Oh, there it is. Okay, Tabby, are you ready? I don't even have my thing plugged in. I promise I am so, <laughs> so prepared. What I want to change here, I'm going to actually use red to just, or, or not. not. She has a bit of crazy eyes going on and I want to fix that. So I would like her to have nice big eyes that mostly takes up her eyeball. Kind of probably looking up a little bit, make her look a little innocent. I still want to keep her eyelids to show off her makeup. So we're going to give her more of like an angrier look because her eyelids are kind of slooped like that. There we go. We're going to remove her nose completely. She don't need that no more. She doesn't need to sniff us from a mile away. And her teeth. Okay, I want to add to her teeth. I love her smile. And we're just gonna play a little bit into the theme of like a kid, but we're gonna give her braces. I don't think any villagers have braces in Animal Crossing. I might be wrong though. I didn't check. Okay, here she is so far. Now her shirt. I want to change it. Get rid of the logo. I do actually have a few options of shirts that still play into the theme of the long dress one. Our first lovely contender is this brown one. Or or this blue one. I haven't decided yet, but I kind of want to try the blue just to like make her colors pop a little bit with her makeup. We'll just put that right there. So really all we have to do is just add the spaghetti straps to her dress. And there we go. So now that we have everything planned out, let's put Tabby away for now. Let's center the sketch and let's get started. Let's talk about Tabby. Tabby is a peppy cat. She's based off of an actual Tabby cat and her catchphrase is a mix between meow and wow. So far Tabby has been featured in all Animal Crossing games. Her birthday's on August 13th and if you're her birthday twin, well, there you go. And to top it all off, Tabby has the music hobby, so she sings anywhere without needing a stereo. The reason why I chose to fix Tabby today in today's video is because she was actually on my island in my very first Animal Crossing game. I guess not island because technically the first game doesn't have an island, it's just literal land that you get. A long time ago, I played the first Animal Crossing game and our lovely Miss Girl was there with me. She accidentally dropped her soccer ball down the cliff and I decided to go and fetch it for her. It took a long time and she just pushed it off again. So yeah, very memorable. And the thing was, I don't actually mind Tabby. I don't think she's that ugly. I think there are a lot worse villagers out there that need fixing, but she's quite iconic in her look. Like I said, I think the impression she gave me was that she's just a preteen trying out makeup for the first time. She's like figuring out what looks good, what doesn't. And while I am trying to fix these villagers and make them look better, I still wanted to include cute characteristics in their design. So yeah, the makeup is here to stay. I just fixed it a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. I'm also not drawing her from scratch because I figured 
figured that I wanted to keep the design as close as possible to her actual design. So as you can see, you can just see me tracing over the lines that I've just kind of fixed. That way it just makes it easier on my part and makes it faster for me also. Now that I'm looking back at it, I feel like I could have changed some things also. I feel like I could have added or even fixed her eyeballs maybe because I feel like her face is the focal point of the issue. Like I said, her makeup was a little weird. People have issues with her eyes, her nose, her mouth. I get it. I get it. She's not the typical cute tabby cat that you would expect when she's compared to a tabby cat. But I think she's pretty unique looking. She just needs some TLC. Actually, something that I would like to know for future reference is, would you guys like me to completely change her design? I would like to know because since I am making this a series, I want to kind of hone in on what you guys would like to see. But also I could always come back to Tabby and fix her up and maybe like fix her eyes or something because I still was trying to make her look like her, just a little bit different. I would love to know. I'm just this kind of like experimental, this challenge that I'm doing for myself, which by the way, I was actually inspired by a couple people who are doing like these kind of fixing up things. First person that comes to mind is Mariah Elizabeth. She has her whole fixing squishies. I love watching those. I always look forward when she posts new videos about that stuff. She in general is just a very artistic person. She'll dabble in anything and everything. So I highly recommend checking her out. Honestly, I love her style. I love her aesthetic. She has like this rainbow pastel going on. Very on theme and I really like it. I aspire to be as great as her one day. Definitely always look forward to her videos every Friday. I highly recommend her channel if you want like artsy fartsy stuff. I would also like to find other channels that are kind of similar to hers in style too, but I really haven't made much of an effort to look. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I would gladly accept them. But without further ado, we're coming close to the end of the lining process. So I'll give you back to in real life drawing Shauna. Line work is done. Let's bring back Miss Squirrel. There she is. So far, not so bad. Let's just hope that it all comes together. And if it doesn't turn out as I thought it would, um, then I'm definitely gonna have to add stuff to make it better. <laughs> Anyways, how about we start coloring? Right, so coloring process. Originally, I was gonna keep her original colors on her. As you can see, I filled her in with the orange. I'm filling her ears in with the pink, with the lighter pink in the center, her little stripe marks. I actually made them darker, but later on in the video, you'll see me changing our colors and making it more of a, a neutral kind of palette instead of a very loud one. I also kind of wanted to add more details to her fur to just like make her pop, but I decided again like to stick to her original design a little bit to make sure that she still looks like her in the ending. However, I did remove some lining detail that I did because it did look kind of awkward and it didn't look good in my style, so I just removed it completely. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but the mouth. Yeah, the lines had to go. In Tabby's actual design, she actually has some brown around her black iris if you look very closely. I wanted to include that in her design. You'll see me add it at some point, but it didn't work out. It looks kind of weird. I don't even know how to explain it. I think it's the eye shape that just like throws it kind of off and I was trying to add like some white details in there. It just wasn't working. What a struggle she was. I was having quite the hard time with her eyeballs. <laughs> but anyways, to get back to my previous talking point about who I was inspired by to start the series, there's another channel by the name of Hello Studios who does LPS content, Little's Pet Shop. And basically what she does is she either redoes them, she makes customs, she fixes them. And she has this new series that she just came out with that's called LPS Crusty to Clean Makeover. And I ate that up, okay? That was so good to watch. I really want to get into LPS customs. I actually started buying the new generation and stuff, but I'm only gonna make some customs if I get duplicates of them. And I refuse to make customs out of the older generations because I don't want to ruin them. They're so limited, right? That I just do not want to ruin them. I feel like collectors can have them and I don't need to ruin them, essentially. I could just go literally online and buy a fake and make a custom out of it. But I feel like with the newer generation, the generation seven that's coming out, they're gonna make multiple of them and they're not gonna be short in stock. So yeah, if I got a duplicate, because I do have four with me right now, I got like a little walrus guy, a little shark guy, a horse guy, and then anteater. If I get a duplicate of them, I will make a custom and of course I'll be recording the process and uploading it on my channel because I really like that kind of stuff. For my channel, I really wanna make like an artsy channel and also a gaming channel and I'm trying to mesh those things together, which is actually working out pretty nice because as you can see, I am currently drawing an Animal Crossing character, which is kind of on theme, but also in the future, I would just like to make more crafts and stuff because I think in real life content is very fun and I want to include myself in more ways than just video game form. Actually, I was heavily debating on making a whole face reveal. I was in the process of recording some painting video. In the ending, I was gonna do like a whole face reveal because I didn't want to make it a big thing. So I was just like, rip the bandaid off, do it quick. Maybe no one will notice. Maybe someone will point it out or whatever, but I just wanted to do it as quick as I could just to get it out of the way so I could feel more comfortable recording myself. It didn't come to fruition because I 
don't have a good camera or lighting setup. So I need to get some lighting and actually make it like a professional set. That was something that I was planning on doing. I digress. That was all to say I really like Little's Pet Shops and Customs and I really like doing artsy stuff. Yeah, those channels inspired me big time to make this my own series. I'm sure other people on YouTube have done this before. This is not an original idea by any means. But you know what? It's fun and I want to do it. So let's do it. And also you guys could draw with me if you want to. You can also draw like ugly villagers into cute ones too. I was planning on doing like a, an ugly villager and turning them into a human. But then I was like, that's a lot of work and a lot of effort, especially if I'm just going to do one. A single one would take me probably like four hours to just draw. Tabby, Miss Girl, took me about an hour and a half to draw. And I know her design looks very simple and I know I was just tracing her outlines and stuff, but still it was very tedious. I was actually planning originally to make three villagers in total, um, but you can see that just one of them took up this much time. So I just stuck with Tabby. I hope that's okay. Maybe in the future I will do more than just one, maybe like two or something. We are coming close to the end of me drawing Tabby, but I just wanted to quickly say before I leave that in the month of June, I will be doing another 30 day challenge with the ideas or theme. I will leave that as a surprise. So I don't know if I'll be uploading any other videos other than this one. So if you don't see any more videos, then you know that I'm just, I'm working on the 30 day challenge. I haven't abandoned the channel, I promise. The theme won't be revealed until the first. So I'll just leave it all to assumptions. Are you guys ready for the grand reveal of new Tabby? I still tried to keep on theme with Tabby. So when you do compare them side by side, you still recognize that this is Tabby, just a tad bit different. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And also let me know what you would have changed or added on her design. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know about this whole new series that I'm doing. Personally, I want to keep drawing, so please. <laughs> but in any case, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. And if it's not your birthday today, happy day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.